Yo guys, it's Theo. Welcome. Today we are talking about the top 5 worst guns in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, we're going to be rating the worst guns in the game based off many factors, just on how well they were used in the game to go smoothly and efficiently through the rounds. So, um, but before we get started, I do want to talk about my Twitch. I have been streaming a lot on Twitch recently, including Zombies and other games, so definitely check it out. There's stuff for everyone. It's twitch.tv slash BigBotTod. The link will be in the description. So, without further ado, let's get into this list. Okay, so coming in at number 5, we have the Gorgon. The Gorgon is an LMG. It has... I think 50 rounds, yeah, 50 rounds per magazine. So a lot of bullets, unfortunately, it shoots slowly, especially for an LMG. It shoots pretty slowly. You can see the background. It's, it's quite slow. The reload is very slow, which is why it's not great for high rounding, it's unless you have the speed pull up, which obviously is very helpful. But you can see here I'm reloading, and it's taking a long time. You have to keep moving. So if you are able to pack punch it, which not all maps do, that does help a lot. And at that point, it can be useful for uh, just camping in corners. It's not really good for training, but so that's why I'm putting it at number five. Slow reload, slow rate of fire, and that's about that's it. Just what we needed. Although some vodka would be nice. Okay, so coming in at number 4, we have the XM-53. This is a rocket launcher. It has one rocket per mag, and then you reload. It's the decent rate of fire. The reload is not too bad, but again, it only has one rocket before you have to reload. The damage is nice, and especially if you pack a punch, and it can be useful for training. Uh, especially on bigger maps. Obviously in the background I'm playing on Nocturne and Toten, so you can't train super well on that map. But if you do are able to train, it can be useful for that. But there are much better guns to train with, like the Wonderwolf, a ray gun, a lot of different guns. So this gun is honestly kind of useless. But yeah, so... And plus, one of the most important things in my opinion is it can't be customized. It is available for like in the customization screen. It is one of the weapons there, but you can only put camp. You can't put any like fast mags or a stock or anything like that. So for those reasons, it comes in at number two. Now for number three, we have a sniper. We have the SVG-100. In my opinion, this is easily the worst sniper. Most of the snipers are actually decent, especially for the first one 10 by one. rounds, because I will they curse them from damage. afar. Now, the SVG-100, on the other hand, does have great damage you still, will meet the but rage. the rate of fire is incredibly slow. You have to uh, cock the gun back between each shot, so slow rate of fire. The reload is decent. But that's not a big issue with snipers. Um, now, fortunately, it can be customized, so you can put smaller and less zoomed-in scopes than the default one, because the default is very zoomed-in, which is not great for zombies, because it's kind of useless. You don't have to zoom in a ton. So, fortunately, you can put custom scopes on, which is very nice. But, honestly, if you're going to use a sniper, you should definitely be using the Locust or the Draken instead of this gun because the rate of fire, honestly, is just horrible. So for that reason, we have this gun at number three. And with the number two spot, I have to go with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is a four round burst SMG. It has 40 bullets per magazine, which is pretty good. But the damage is horrible. Low damage. Reload is fine. Uh, there's it's really not too much to say about it. The damage is nice. just so low that it's really useless past rounds. Six or seven? <laughs> Honestly, it's very difficult to use. Now, obviously, I'm using this on round 24. 
and it's on Shino Numa, so there's no pack a punch unless you're using Mega Gobblegums, which makes it crazy difficult. And as you can see, it it takes like 12, 16 bullets, three or four bursts. Unfortunately, the rate of fire is fast. You can see I'm I'm shooting a four round burst very often, but still the damage is, is so low. It's very very difficult to use. Second worst gun in the, in the game, in my opinion. So yeah. Now, before we get to number one, we do have an honorable mention. Let us drink to this and to be honest, machine. before I started recording and getting clips for the background, I had this as number one on the list. I had it as the worst gun in the game. But using it, I realized it is much better than I thought. And it is the MX Garand. Now this gun, I thought it was the worst, because the damage for body shots is so low. It's about the same as the Shiva. And the rate of fire is decent. There's only 8 bullets per clip. But the worst thing, in my opinion, was you could not reload in the middle of a clip. You had to completely use the clip before you could reload. So if you had, like, 4, bu four bullets left, you can't reload until all of them are gone. To me, that was just incredibly annoying, and I think that's why I hated it so much. But the reason, when I was playing, and getting this clip that you're seeing, I realized it was much better than I thought, because of the headshot multiplier. As you can see, it's one shot it right now on, on round 9, which is pretty decent. On round 9, it's still getting one shot headshots, and I'm pretty sure it keeps getting those one shots up until round 15, or something crazy. I don't know the exact statistic. But it's really nice. The rate of fire is also pretty good. So for those reasons, I moved it to a honorable mention instead of somewhere on this list. Now, another great thing about this gun that I realized is when you pack punch it, it goes from 8 bullets per clip to 30. That's crazy. That's almost 4 times as many bullets. So for those reasons, I put it to the honorable mention spot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the number one spot, and I'm sure many of you have guessed it by now. But in my opinion, the worst gun in Black Ops 3 Zombies is the Shiva. Many people hate this gun. A lot of people strongly dislike it. They think it's very bad, and honestly, it is. Body shot damage, so low. By round, I think, 5 or 6, it takes almost a full magazine to get a kill. Unless you're only getting headshots. But the headshot multiplier is not that great. Not nearly as good as the MX Garand. It's probably, like, I think 1.25 or something. So you're getting one-shot headshots until, like, round 7 or 8 or something. It's, it's just not that good. The reload is mediocre. The rate of fire, also mediocre. But the damage is just so low that it's so hard to use. You can pack a bunch this gun. I don't know why you would ever want to, but you can. It doesn't make it that much better. The damage increases a little. The mag size, I think, doubles, which is standard. It's just really not that good of a gun. And most people, they think it's the worst. And I didn't want to be cliche and put it as the worst. Like, when I started to film this video, I was going to put the MX and put the Shiva's number two. But honestly, using the MX Garand, I just realized that this gun is just so much worse. So for those reasons, I had to put it at number one. It's just the worst gun. Now it is available for customization in the uh, the setting or the the menu of the game, which is nice. So you can get fast mags, stuff to slightly increase it. But honestly, it's just not that good. So for that reason, it's number one. So guys, that is going to end the video. The list is done. Guys, make sure you go to the comments and let me know whether you agree or disagree with this list. Because I've seen many different lists from many YouTubers or content creators of differences and lots of similarities to my list and theirs. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Definitely go follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.